You're shit. You don't listen. You don't. I'm listening. The only time she came to the room. I would love times, to go out there no, and sail out into the, that the only open time ocean. She came like, oh my God, look, a big room. ass green ship. But so, it's real nice because you can you see mean, like the tall you, you buildings can't way out there on the right. Hear me out for a second. You Great. just want me to do everything Look at without the net. Look at the net. me out? You want to go down there and oh walk my in the God. water? Adnan has flowers everywhere and candles everywhere, and I'm just not having it. You're not just going to try and schmooze my anger away. 12 seconds later. Before I get everything. Okay. Love you so much. I love you so much. Is that my big time? Hmm. And then you have apple pink. What is that? I don't know what is that. Like where you put your phone next to the scanner? No, I don't have that. You don't have a machine? I, I take cash. Oh, I don't have cash. Uh, I can't help you. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to 90 Feet Anse Before the 90 Days. So we're in season 7, episode 10. And today we're going to do Chidi and Renee, Tiger Lily and Anon, and Veya and Sunny. And tomorrow we're going to do Niles and Matilda and Vanya and Bozo. But before we get started, we're close to 10K. And I kind of noticed that 77% of you guys are watching but you're not subscribed. That's rude. Okay, like what? You got commitment issues? Because I'll wait. Not long though. Chidi and Renee. You guys, I forgot my microphone. Give me a second. So, it's been three days since they last seen each other, and Renee's getting ready to go see Chidi because he texted her for them to meet up. I'm hoping that he would actually, like, be like, oh, I really want to go with you to the hotel. I want to start hanging out with you now. I had a talk with my sister, and she said it was okay. Or whether she likes it or not, I'm a man. Either way, you know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. So now we see Chidi, and he's nervous on how she's going to react because, as we all know, Renee is not the best with confrontation. Why did you get on the you phone know, you and say, I, I love you? you. Know, I love you. you know. I love you. Come you over. He wants you. Because you know. I don't like you because you do this and that. So she comes, they hug, he's happy to see her, and it actually looks like they're on the last date before, you know, shit hits the fan. I came to the beach to tell her that I'm no more interested in this relationship. I cannot help but remain open-minded and hopeful that she's going to have an open dialogue about our relationship. But I don't know if she's capable of this. She's not capable of shit, the fuck. Like, we all know that she's gonna verbally abuse you. Anyways, they sit down, and it's kind of awkward, and Renee's like, did you want to hang out with me more? Hell no, he doesn't. Shut your stupid ass. But he said that he didn't like how she acted that day. You know, your sister and I are not on good terms. You have to remember that I'm not gonna stay somewhere in somebody's house where we're not on good terms. Okay, but whose fault is that? So, Chidi even mentions this and said that she already said that she doesn't like sisters. And so Renee starts ranting over how much he's choosing his sister. Do you ever think you could be overreacting about Chidi's sister? I don't ever feel like I overreact. You guys, there's nothing behind those eyes. Like, the lights are on, but nobody's home. So now, they start arguing and Chidi's like, please, let me speak. And so finally, she shuts up for like two seconds before she starts talking about something random in the sea. I would the love times. to go out there no. and sail out into the, that the only open time ocean. She like, oh my God, look, a big room. ass green ship. But so, it's real nice because you can you see mean, like the you, tall you, buildings you way out there on the right. Hear me out for a second? Nope. Obviously, she's doing it to piss him off, but like, damn, girl, what's wrong with you? Like, how hard it is for you to act like a rational woman. But then she starts saying that he's still sucking on his sister's tits. Like, you guys, Chitty has better restraint than me because I would have already put my hands on her because who the fuck says that? I'm finna beat your ass. I'm about to beat your ass. She just says anything that comes to her head. She told me she's never had any healthy relationship now you know why uh. so then he brings up how she's always been in a toxic relationship and tells her that if she continues to act this way that she won't ever be in a healthy one and she looks so pissed off five and a half years after telling you that i was with men that turned to heroin crack cocaine and drugs well i would turn to those two if i had to deal with a woman like you like let's be Let's be so for real right now. I kind of understand why they did it. So she can't take accountability at all and is blaming everybody but herself. The no. problem is you. The problem is the human freaking race. All you try to do is hurt others and you want to call that love? Bullsh okay, okay, okay. But the human race? What we do? 
Why are we dragged into this? I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? So they're still arguing. Renee can't believe that he's saying that she's the problem. He knows guys have always treated me like dirt. Like, how dare you after all these years throw it back in my face? So then she asked him if he's doing this for the visa. And y'all, his face when she is ranting is hilarious. That's why you want to marry me. That's why you're that obsessed with me. You're so scared to come near me. And you want to call that love? Bullshit. You're the one wanting the visa. He basically said that he's good and he doesn't need to go to America. He tells us that if he wanted to go, then he would need to bang Renee and he doesn't feel like selling his soul just to go to America. So Chidi says that the problem is that she doesn't listen and as he's trying to speak, she cuts him off to say that he should just say what he needs to say and that she is indeed listening. Like, how are you this deluded? Okay, you're talk still talking. Say what you're gonna say so that we can clear it up. What's wrong with you? You're shit. You don't listen. You don't. I'm listening you sure about that so she said that if he wants her to withdraw from him then she will do that and he said yeah that's fine and she doesn't look okay with that even though she was the one who brought it up first so it is over we cannot make it together so now she's crying and he leaves as he should this is the worst heartbreak i've ever had in my entire existence devastated pissed sad like how could someone be so hurtful i don't give a fuck so that's the end for them not for tiger lily and anon so tiger lily is about to meet anon and she's still upset about the whole shirtless pic that he posted my initial plan for this trip was to enjoy time with my husband and work on some issues while we still work on baby making but now with this photo that has all gone out the window so she gets in gives him a hug and he even decorated the room for her and he's ready for them to make that baby but she isn't happy. So he asks her if she's ready to fuck. Oops, I mean make babies. And she's like, oh, mm-hmm, sure. So she goes to sit down and he's trying to talk to her, but she's not talking to him. <clears throat> so he said that she said that he has to delete the picture. So he deleted it. So he doesn't understand why she is still mad so then she asked him how he would feel if she did that and he said that he would kill her excuse me excuse me like is that not a huge red flag like girl why are you still sitting there <laughs> get up <laughs> go home anyways it just shows that anan is like a hypocrite okay so why is it okay for you and not okay for me because i am a man and you are a woman i don't have a boost <laughs> This is the 100th Baby. time I told you. I will say that there is a difference with a guy with his shirt off than a woman with her shirt off. But I feel like he would still be mad if she had like her shirt off with like a bikini underneath. Like he would still be upset and tell her like cover up, you know? So he said that he's a man and he doesn't have boobs. But she's still saying that it's still a double standard. When Lily uh, married uh, me, she know all of these things. But she didn't understand me. This make me so, so angry. And well, this thing's not fixed. Well, you're going to keep being it. angry then because it's going to be even. I fear he may be right because she knew all of this and still decided to marry him. At that point, it's on her. Yeah, the double standards suck, but that's what you signed up for. Why are you upset now? So she said that she changed for him. So like he should change for her. And so he gets upset and said that she wasted his time and that he won't be doing any surprises like this for her anymore. <sighs> like, come on, grow up. You are very old and you need to play your age and not 12. Uh, you, you will make me happy if you act a little bit. Make me a little bit happy. A little bit, a little bit fake. Oh, Lord have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. So they keep going back and forth because she wants them to talk about their problems, but he's like, no. I'm done with the, the this things. Okay, bye. So Tiger Lily said that she isn't going to chase him and so he comes out for them to talk and he basically apologizes. So then after he's done, she talks about the double standards again and he explained how it works because of their gender. Not everything I can do, you can do. Like, uh, you can't show your body when you go to swimming, but I can. No. How no? No. Tiger Lily is like, no, this isn't about religion, it's about respect. If you don't want other people to see my body because I'm all yours, then I don't want people to see your body because you're all mine. <laughs> Which honestly, I think is fair. She will respect my religion and I don't think I have to wear shirt when I'm swimming, but I wanted to move on. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
So he said that he doesn't want to fight but just wants to make love. Tiger Lily said that they haven't come to an agreement and she didn't have a chance to talk about everything that they have to talk about about the relationship. But she's just glad that they're making progress by talking about it. We are trying to make a baby here. Okay. Okay, okay I want to smile like this. <laughs> okay, forget everything. Okay. Love you so much. I love you so much. What a shit relationship. Um, moving on to Veya and Sunny. So, Sunny broke up with Veya because, you know, she brought her ex with her to go see him. She said that she hasn't reached out to him and now she decides to do it. So, she asked him if they can meet up and he said, hell no. Mm. Yeah, Sunny, you tell her. I feel like Sunny just threw our whole relationship, us, our love, our whole year of talking. I feel like Sunny just threw it all out. He threw it out? Girl, be for real. I take full responsibility for our fight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. So, Vea goes out to meet her boyfriend. Oops, I mean her ex-boyfriend. But on her way there, she decides to get a pineapple first. Y'all, this girl asks if they have Apple Pay. Why are you confused that they don't have Apple Pay? Why did you actually think that they would have Apple Pay? You don't have a machine? You don't have that? No. I, I take cash. Oh, I don't have cash. So she decides to call Rory, you know, somebody that's actually competent and carries cash with them to a whole nother country. And so he finally comes and pays for her. Wait, do they have like change in their money too? Oh, that's cool. You know, I acknowledge that sometimes I can act slow, okay? I do acknowledge that. But she is just a whole nother type of level slow. Like she needs help type of slow. Like an assistant everywhere she goes type of slow. You know what I mean? Because it's just not... It's just not normal. The girl stresses me out bad. Like there's no way you're this dumb at 27, especially when you work in a healthcare position. Anyways, she tells him about what happened with her and Sunny and Rory basically has to coach her on exactly what to say for her to basically be, you know, a better person. Say, hey, I'm sorry. I Here's what I'm gonna do to make it right. Write that down, write that down! And then he tells her that she needs to explain her past as basically a reason as to why she acts the way that she does now. Which I thought was interesting that he brought up because she only brought worry because she didn't know how to like navigate a plane and navigate like the airport. That's it. What does that really have to do with her past? So now it's later that night and Sunny has finally decided to talk to Veya. I just want him to understand where I come from and like my point of view on things. If Sunny doesn't want to be with me, then I have to go home. Please go home. So he pulls up and he said that he wants to know why she didn't tell him about worry and now she seems untrustworthy. So she gives him some flowers, but he's like, this isn't going to make me take you back. So they head to the back and she said that she was scared to travel alone. And he's like, girl, why did you lie though? I wanted to be the one to tell you. I wanted to tell you before I left and then it just didn't feel like the wrong right time because I was scared you were going to tell me not to come. And then I didn't want to create more problems. So that's when she said that she had a lot of loss in her life and she was afraid to lose him but he said that she still should have told him because he's also been in a position of loss as well but he doesn't understand why worry and so that's when she basically said that he's been there for everything including the baby that they had together that had passed away after my brother's passing i just felt like i wasn't the same and it was just really stressful or he's like, let's go to the emergency room. And they told us that the baby had lost its heartbeat. So because of that, they became even closer after coping with the loss of their baby. But she reassured Sunny that she doesn't have any romantic feelings towards Rory. Do y'all believe that? Because I feel like even if she does it, it's kind of obvious that Rory still has like romantic feelings towards her. So I feel like it's going to still be like a problem later in the future. But that's just what I'm thinking. Anyways, this seems to waver his feelings and they're able to hug it out. I don't want Vea to scared of telling me any things. I don't want to be that jealous boyfriend Vea have to hide things from. But at the same time, it's hard not to be insecure. So now he tells us that he seems to be jealous of how close the bond is and now it's going to be competition for him. Like, I guess his feelings are valid, but like, that's a him problem. And that's where their episode ends. But wait, I gotta give a super chat to six super chats. The first one is Scrub Mellow. Thank you. You're not my scrapbook. Next is Ellie Art 9 Thank you. You also are my scrapbook. Cat Duncan, 9618. Thank you. You're not my scrapbook. It's Faye, 86. Thank you. You're not in my scrapbook. Why it's girl. Thank you. You're not in my scrapbook. And Claire Richardson, 3367. You're not in my scrapbook. Again. 
Editing Jessica here. I'm so sorry. I had one more from Buy Me Coffee from Angela, aka Brown Sugar. Thank you, Angela. You're not my scrapbook. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.